All right, guys. Uh, so this is it. This is uh, the next episode in the series. Uh, and something I noticed right after I recorded the last one is that I, com I was completely oblivious to the fact that we had reached the goal of 10,000 bits. Uh, so we're right there, 10,534, um, right after we turned in that last quest, which, you know, gave us the level up. Um, but yeah, so, you know, we're about to pay to play by turning that, those 10,000 bits, um, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is, you know? Uh, you know, we gotta pay to advance, so we gotta fork them over. Um, but yeah. So anyways, uh, let's, let's see what tier 2 has to offer here. Reduce the pen penalties to accuracy when moving. Gain some tactical time dilation meter when you kill an enemy. Increase damage dealt by science weapons. Movement speed during the time dilation. Okay, we, we don't use guns. Yeah, that's useless. Vendor buying price. Yeah. Chance to reset a companion. Uh, we don't use companions. Companion. Companion. Health restored per kill. That's that's pretty good. That's like a life leech kind of ability. We're definitely going to go for that one. Uh, hoarder. Uh, carrying capacity bonus. For, yeah, we don't use companions. When you have no companions in your party. Yep, we're definitely going with this one. So damn, tier 2 really just honestly doesn't have much for us. That's kind of disappointing, honestly. Yeah, regardless, let's get at it. Let's, uh, let's turn this in. Make sure I got the quest on there. No. Whoops. Alright, yep. Yeah. Oh, this is painful. Oh, this is so painful right now. I do not want to buy this for 10,000 bits. I wish there was a dialogue option to get a discount, but... Now let's let's see what else we can do here. All right then, on you go. Ask the common folk, and they'll tell you it's on account of all the monsters on Monarch desperate to gobble you up. Because that's what the board tells them, you see. I think they made some fool mistake that would make them look bad to the rest of the colony, and they're trying to hide the evidence. Those what makes you think that, lady? Prideful -like. Never want you looking behind the curtain, lest you see their derrieres. But old Gladys knows the score. The whole colony's not much more than a diorama, showcasing one board screw up after another. That's why we gotta keep them from getting their grubby mitts on Crownbreaker. She's our mess. Hmm. That's right, dear. I don't think there's a way around this. Independent station in the colony. That's us. Though for how long, I can't say. That all depends on Miss June Lay. Chief June Lay Tennyson. Used to be she was chief engineer before her mama passed, and she took the helm. She's neck deep in the ship guts by day, slap fighting with the board by night. Interesting. Bit straight laced for my tastes, but that's just her nature. She's fierce, too. A fighter. A fighter. And between you and me, I think the fight's starting to wear on her. This heat problem we've got's gone unfixed for weeks. Can't say I know what the holdup is, but I'm sure she's trying her best. Uh. The board can't abide a community that won't bend to its will. They've always got one scheme or another running, looking for ways to bring us to heel. Like this heat business. Shameful. But it won't work. No, sir. Groundbreaker's free till the day she dies, law willing. Go right ahead, sweetheart. Uh, this is it. Groundbreaker's radiators. Been neither fine nor dandy for weeks now. Miss Junley's supposed to be getting them fixed, but the board's determined to get in her way. The board can't abide the community. Uh, They've always got one, but it won't work. I've already exhausted that. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Okay, well, Wait, all that. Here. 
Or is it just my glands acting up again? Ah, uh, damn it. Here we go. Fantastic. Do be careful with it, dear. As these keys tend to be a tad hard to acquire. No shit. You should have a chat with Lilia Hagen in the sublight offices. She's a dear. You'll love her. Now, was there anything else? Can I have my money back? Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Damn it. Let's steal it. Right in front of her face. Oh, well, son of a bitch. We got fucking screwed. Oh well, shit happens. We'll make that money back in no time. Ooh. See if he can inf invest in this a little bit. Yeah, alright, we got some money. Oh. Okay, well, that's that, I guess. We can upgrade this, though. Well, no, oh, we can't. Never mind. 80%. What would this take? Oh, that's nothing. All right. Actually, our armor might be a little fucky. Oh, 44%. Holy shit. There we go. Alright, well, I guess we'll be on our way. Hey, be careful with those crates, huh? Oh, we just took a huge hit financially, but we'll recover. No biggie. Show must go on. Alrighty, let's do it. Huh? Welcome back, Captain. Now that you've Hello, Captain Marvel. To Stellar Bay, would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? Yeah, why not? Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. Alrighty. You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Nioka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's Ooh, 20,000. Nice. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. Damn, 20,000 experience and we're only like a third the way there. That's crazy. Well, so we're off. To Monarch. One of Olympus's many satellites, which should have been Halcyon's second habitable world, has long since been abandoned by the board due to monstrous, ravenous creatures. Warning, dangerous. Eh, fuck it. It's probably a horrible idea, but. We are in orbit over Cascadia, Captain. We're ready to fight. Let's do this. Can 
take up to a decade to complete a trip. That's a bit much. A decade or weeks? Your choice. Jesus. Okay, this place, what the fuck? Kind of looks like Felucia. Fucking Star Wars planet. Interesting. No, I'm not making this fucking mistake again. Let's try... Oh, here we go. The hell? Get wrecked. Uh, we don't need to sneak around these little shits. Fuck out of here, you little fucker. Damn, fuck this dude up. Stun Baton Ultra? What the hell? Jesus, 276. This thing, wow. Trash. Okay, well. Oh well, you upgrade. That's the way the shit goes. Hmm. Oh shit. That's a big one right there. God, we're trapped. Face me. Come on. Jesus. All right, we took out those two, two big bads. Oh, you see a bunch of shit. Same with this dude right here. Another toss ball card for us. Vortex Mace. Ooh. Alright, let, let's see what we got going on here. Yeah, this thing, Inferno Scythe, probably isn't the best to use anymore. What the hell? Manta Queen? Now oh, we're going for it. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh. We are in for a fight. God. Quit blocking, asshole. Oh, God. I'm 
she set me on fire. What the hell? Alright, took out a soldier. Son of a bitch. Shit, she's at half health. We've, we've got a chance here. Yeah! Oh god. Plasma damage received plus 25% for one perk point. Uh, yeah, honestly, most of these are kind of useless. Especially since the perks aren't that great. We're going to get plenty on our way to 30. I'm not trying to take any more damage, you know. I'm good. Well, so our sneak definitely helped us out there. We killed this thing almost, well, we did like 50% damage. Our screen's all fucked up. Okay, now we're back to normal. Alright, so we landed in the hot zone, but... Still managed to beat the shit out of every creature here. Come on. Let's go. Take all this shit when we can. See how our armor's doing. Our weapons are good. Okay, 87%. That's to be expected, all that corrosive attack bullshit. Plus, yeah, what the hell is even the mission? Speak with Neokia at Stellar Bay. was interesting right off the bat. We're just fighting some crazy ass creatures. Shit. Yep. Mm, things like Looking straight down the hallway, that's gonna be hard to attack that thing. Yep, stealth isn't gonna be an option here, once again. Well, here we go. I should get access to some kind of combo attack. Instead of just, you know, a couple of swings. Come 
Let's go. Beating the shit out of everything out here. Grenade launcher. What the hell was that? Ooh. Light armor. Very nice. Grab all this shit. Might as well. Wow. All the way on the other side. It's probably because we landed in wild ass territory. There's. Jesus. Is that two of. Yeah, okay. Yep, we're gonna avoid the shit out of that. That's just not smart to wade into that bullshit. Here's where we need to go. Shit. We could get in the ship. Yeah, that's just... That's a bit much. Hmm. That's all the way on the other side of the map. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back to the ship and land at the other zone. That's just the smartest way of doing this. The amount of time it's going to take us to traverse that, plus all the creatures, especially if there's two mana queens just guarding, you know, the area that we have to get through. Uh, yeah, it's... We're better off just... Going back to the ship, going to the different landing zone. Super so easy. The Rangers versus the Chosen. Toss ball. Kind of looks like it's kind of weird version of lacrosse. Yep, we can always respec if we need to. But I feel like we'll be good. We just gotta... I feel like melee is gonna be... It's it's already pretty powerful. It's only gonna get stronger. Especially once we get the, the life leech. Yep. 58 meters or 1100. You know, the choice is pretty easy. I just gotta find a way down. Hey, how the game... Constantly does this shit. Now, should be a platform, maybe? Yep, is there... There's no button here. Oh, there we go. And I'm assuming this guy's gonna immediately talk to us. Hey, hold on there. I gotta sign you in. Yep. Not feeling it, dog. Oh, this guy's got a fucking scythe. Nice. Hello. And the little bastard's slippery, right? On account of its blood, so it's it's sliding all over the place, trying to crawl away. Oh, is that so? I can't tell the 
tell of blood from the mud. Don't interrupt, it's rude. But I gotta get in there. Okay. Get right in that baby rap stomach and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every damn wrapped out there. Is right? that so? What are you staring? Wait. You ain't from around here. Who are you? Are you always this drunk, you asshole? This is drunk. I got a, a You need to get out more. Sit. Partake. Buy me a drink and let's chat. Fuck it. Outstanding. What are you doing in Stellar Bay, stranger? Yeah, people it think it's a, a shithole. Hole. It's a free shithole, though. Plenty of ways to blaze your own trail. Folks seem to like that. Besides, the booze is good. Something about that fish oil. Cheers. Yep, down the hatch. Well, 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 well. Let's get down to brass nuts then, shall brass we? Nuts, brass nuts, all right. Wait, that ain't it. Brass rats. Let's let's talk business. Let's talk brass I'm nuts, back lady. There after I sober up. You want a guide sooner than that? You have to get me something to clear my head. Oh, you want information for nothing? Very well. I am no match for your nego nego. Your yammering. Here's how to get to Devil's Peak. Go south. Hell yeah. Along the road, not the river. Look for the mountain with devil horns. Watch out for rats and mana swamp. And marauders, sulfur pits, and oh, this place you know, is dangerous as fuck. I feel you. With you. You want to reconsider sobering me up? Mm, no. You do what you like, stranger. I'll be here in the meantime. I'm the lone man. All right. Well, got what we needed. Rap mask and canid eyes, right here. Sebastian Arms, Wildlife and Borum. Please, I need your help. I can pay. Jesus. There's probably a whole bunch of side missions here. Holy fuck. You want, lady? Oh, thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. Please, you have to help me get my little Tucker back. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Oh, why is it? No, a raptodon is melting him with acid as we speak. Why is it that all the older women in this game have that same fucking haircut? What the hell? Oh, I just knew you were a good person. Agnes, I said, this is the man to save your little Tucky. And I was right. He ran out into the wilderness. I don't give a fuck about your little Tucky. God damn it. And marauders, the toxic sulfur pools, and poisonous plants. But he didn't listen. Of course. Please, won't you go and find my boy? Uh, yeah, reward. Well, I guess I can't ask you to leave the town walls for free. It is definitely dangerous out there. I've got some bits saved up for a rainy day. I'll give you every last one if you just bring my Tucker back to me. I won't even be mad at him running off. You tell him I, I won't be mad. All right, fuck it. Thank you. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. You look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? It's down the road southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. And if you find any of them iconoclasts indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouth. Fuck Tell them yeah. what I think of them luring little boys away from their mamas. It's immoral. All right. And 
And that's going to do it for this episode.